if your DV website start to look strange in front end without any obvious reason, nine times out of 10, you can solve it by just clearing the DV static CSS cache. In this tutorial, I will show you four ways to clear the DV static cache quicker than the default method. As usual, you can find all the links and resources needed in this blog post on divimundo.com. And if you're watching this on YouTube, you can find the link in the description below the video. So the first method that I'm going to show you is the traditional one, the one that the Divi support recommends and that you probably have used a couple of times. So I'll head over to my Divi website and I'll go to my WordPress dashboard. I'll hover Divi and I go to theme options. Then I go to Builder, I click Advanced, and then I click the Clear button beside the static CSS file generation. And now I have this green check mark telling me that the static CSS file cache is clear in Divi. So that's the slow way, and there are lots of clicks here. So let's speed up this process. I'm going back to the WordPress dashboard. And my first shortcut starts at the same place. You'll hover Divi and you go to theme options. But now you simply click the green save changes button. And this will actually clear the Divi static CSS cache. So you don't have to do the extra clicks by going to builder and advanced and then click the button. The second method is to go via the theme customizer. And uh, which way is quicker depends on where you are when you need to clear the static CSS cache. So um, that's why I'm showing you some different angles on this. So to get to the theme customizer, we'll hover Divi and we'll go to theme customizer. Now to clear the Divi static CSS cache, you just need to republish any change in settings in the Divi theme customizer. So I cannot click the publish button here because I haven't done any changes. That works in the theme options, but, but unfortunately not in the DV theme customizer. But let's just go to the general settings, site identity, and maybe add just a space after the site name. And I'll delete the space. But now I can suddenly press publish. So I'll click the publish button. And now the DV cache is cleared. A third alternative to the traditional way of clearing the Divi static CSS cache is to just resave a page or post. Maybe you're editing a page or a post and you have a look in front end in another tab or browser and you see that the CSS is messed up. Well, then you can just resave the page or post that you are working on and the cache will be cleared. So maybe I'm working on a page here. Let's take the about us. And from here, I can just click Ctrl S on PC or Command S on Mac. That's the quick command, the short command to save a page. Or I can click this little menu here and I can click the green save button. And this will also clear the DV cache. The last shortcut to clear the DV cache is a brand new one. And uh, it's adding a clear cache button in the WordPress admin bar. And this is a really nice code snippet that is added by Nelson Miller at PI Creative. If you've been around the Divi community, you've probably seen him. He provides some of the most popular third-party Divi plugins, and he has a huge archive of Divi tutorials and free code snippets. So make sure to check out his website, PI Creative. So if you go to the blog post on divimundo.com, you can see that on number four, we have a link to the PI Creative blog post. And uh, it's a long one, but if you scroll down, nah, not today. Uh, here we have a PHP snippet. It's a pretty massive one. So let's copy it by clicking this icon in the top right. And uh, we head back to our website. And now you need to have a child theme. 
to add this in your functions.php file. And if you don't have a child theme, you can use a plugin like code snippets or such. But I have a child theme on my website, so I'll go to appearance and theme file editor. And if you can't find this link, it's probably hidden by your security plugin, like iTheme Security or WordFence. You can try to turn off that specific feature. Or even better, you can use an FTP client or the file manager in your web hosting account. That would be a more safe way to edit your functions.php file. But I'll take my chances and I'll edit the functions.php in my child theme. And I'll hit enter and I'll add the massive snippet from PI Creative. And if I go back to my WordPress dashboard now, you can see that we have a new clear DV cache button here in the WordPress admin bar. So this is a really nice shortcut. And you also get an extra choice here that you don't have otherwise. You can either clear static CSS file generation. And that's what we have been doing in all the other earlier examples. But you can also clear local storage. And that's stuff that your web browser stores from Divi. So sometimes it might not help just to clear the website CSS file generation. You might also need to clear the local storage from Divi to see the actual changes. So just hover this button and click clear static CSS file generation. And there you can see that it has been cleared. And you can clear the local storage by just clicking it. And there we have it. That's all for today. If you know any faster or better ways to clear the Divi cache, please let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos coming your way. Thanks for watching.